Every week on AFTV Picks, we give away £1,000. And all you've got to do is enter our free-to-play competition and go head-to-head -head with me, win it, and uh, this could be yours. Get involved right now, click the link in the description, and you can play, and it's absolutely free. All you have to do is be over 18 and uh, have some decent football knowledge. So what are you waiting for? Get involved now and you can win yourself £1,000. Hi and welcome to The Build Up. You've tuned into The Build Up with myself, Cecil G and James B. The cameras feel really close. Are they not really this close, are they? Look how close they are. They are quite close, aren't they? are they? quite close. This is... Yeah. To be honest, I haven't had time to notice. It's been a frantic, like, last hour. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. No, 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 no. I just... No, I won't, tell them I won't just, go into just... it, but it's, it's just been frantic. There's just, it's just it's been... been mad. And I hope it's not a reflection of what Arsenal's performance is going to be like. Um, because we need them to really... To, to come to come get, get the job done today. And be on top of it and be professional. Something that, that I've not been today. That is me so, and James yeah. saying we apologise for being late, guys, but we're here. Mm. Welcome. Um, a lot to a lot to look forward to and a lot to look back on as well. Um, mm. there's a lot of things I want to talk about today um, that, I've, that I've noticed recently over all well, this season. And yeah, I don't know, we're, we're looking to start. Let's with, start let's start with um, obviously before the North London Derby, we did that whole segment on Arsenal run. tactics. I think greatest. people enjoyed that. I think that was pretty well um, well received. Like, I had a few messages. Really sweet. Thank you, everyone, for your support. Jeez. Um, no, uh, we, we, we enjoyed it. It was good fun. Um, and in my frantic nature, we've been prepping lots of... This is why we've been late, right? Because we've been trying to recreate a lot of stuff that we want to show you visually because showing stuff visually, you get more of an idea of what we're talking about. Yep. It's not just us talking and you having to believe us. I mean, to be fair, you kind of have to believe that the actual... Moving, moving graphics, things, but, but we are we are but, watching real yeah. life. We're watching the footage yes. and then recreating it. And people are saying, yeah, why we were late. We was creating graphics for you guys to see visually and understand what we're trying to break down. Um, the internet also did a madness. So yeah. just bear it's with been, us. It's been one of those. It's but, um, hectic, you yeah. you pointed out something, um, and we've been talking about it. I'm, I'm actually going to really bug ourselves up here. We've been talking about it all season, right? That there's a formula that I really believe Arteta's taken. Yep from its time with Pep Guardiola. Yep. And one of that has been the ability to build up the play and get into dangerous areas down the sides of the penalty area and find a cutback, but not just aimless balls into the box, actually looking for a specific run that's been made, that's been coached. Coached, yeah. And it's something that I know you as a strike have been played that position. Mm -hmm. I know you'd have loved to have been coached those kind of attacking moves yep. and stuff. And you wanted to talk about it. We've got three examples. Two missed chances, one that led to a goal, yeah, and, and that's uh, and to yeah. be fair, that's that's the, the bare minimum that we've got the two, the three examples. It it happens, I think week in week out. You'll see it. Um, Part of the reason we were late was because we were trying really hard to find some of the other examples. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, but if you'll see it tonight, I'm very I'm very confident that um, in today's in today's mm. match, you'll see Arteta still trying to implement this 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 formula of getting it to the byline and cutting it back. Mm. And uh, just on top of that as well, Olympiakos' weakness is from set pieces or corners or crosses. So you're going to see a lot of it and we see it week in, week out. We're going to look at the first one here and believe this one's against Leicester. Yeah, Nicolas so Pepe. Nicolas Pepe, right. So this was the one that he missed, I believe. I think it was so blocked by Thomas. Yeah. Um, it was kind of an example. We played really well, I think, the last few weeks. Even when we haven't won, I think we have put in some good performances. Um, and Pepe has been... I, I think Pepe is one of the best, if not the best, in the Arsenal team at finding the space to get on the end of these deliveries that mm. typically from, come from Tier Kieran Tierney. I think that's one of the things Arteta's quite liked about him and it's a move we see quite often. The chance we missed against Burnley, do you remember when Pepe comes on, it's cut yeah. back, he's, he scuffs that chance. This one he connects a little bit better with. But yeah, talk but, us yeah, through it. So it's, it's, a regular, it's a regular theme here and it kind of ties in, just before we move forward, it kind of mm. ties into the runner and creator theme because mm. this is where off the run and creative theme that you spoke about last week, this builds onto it and how what Arteta's trying to implement. So when people say, okay, Arteta's good, but what's his game plan? And he has, everyone talks about the process, what's the process? Well, players are buying into it, clearly, because Lacazette's got it on his boots, so he's buying into it, other players are buying into it. And it's, it has worked many a times. It starts with, um, I, I wish I was on the, no, I don't wish I was on the watch along, that's the wrong thing to say, but if you was with us when me and James watch it downstairs, you will hear me always say to the fullback, either it's Tierney or Bellerin most, of, most likely, most of the time, I say isolate um, their fullback, and that's what they do. They got become one on one, so you see it here, Tierney over here, normally isolates the fullback, and the striker and the furthest winger will run to the, into the space, and normally one person hangs back. It's, it's, happens, it's normally Odegaard, I believe in this one today, um, against Leicester, it would have been Smith Rowe, or it'll be Pepe coming in late, 
Um, if, if Smith Rowe pushes the defence line further down, Pepe will come in late and receive it, which you'll see in this, this motion. Yeah, here. absolutely. We'll play it through. And obviously, Tierney, this is a lot of his own good work. But yeah. when he digs out that cross, it's cut back and Pepe gets on the end, but Thomas manages to block it. Mm. The thing I like about it, if I just... If, let, let's just stop the analysis, pause it there for a sec. So Tierney's got into this position. The thing I like, and I'll do it in a different colour, let's do it in red. The thing I like is, it's very easy for players when they get into this position to, I mean, I don't know, actually, let's, let's use this. Try and bend it in here. Yep. Maybe fire it directly across. You almost feel like, you know that, that it's a very uh, old school English football saying, Get it in the area. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, put yeah, it yeah. in there and see what happens. Yeah. And, and what I quite like is this isn't that. Nope. There's no sense of hit and hope. Nope. It's a very coached thing. It's coached. It's coached. Or he could loft it. Rows of team, uh, other teams, they play like cross it in the air. But it's not that. It's a cutback and it's normally along the ground. Mm. And that's what we see week in, week out. So it's same here. What you see here. Yeah. Obviously it was blocked. But that's, that's, that's what it is. And I think I've got to respect Arteta for it. You can see he has principles these are one of them the way he plays you can't play long ball people mm -hmm. to do this because it's, it's, it's it, accumulation of the players build up playing out from the back setting the traps getting the players ready to get in position to isolate the full back and get it across if you play long ball you don't have the time to do that mm -hmm. so this is why I think what we're seeing and we're seeing it so often you is made why a great works. point to me about sucking in the midfield to where the ball is yes right I'd love to touch on that now so if we so the normal formation we play is obviously um, a 4-2-3-1. The three in the middle are imperative for this to work because as they, as the play's building up, it's mainly along the back and we see the pass along the back, the midfielders, the middle, sorry, the midfield three, they tuck in, right? And they cause the defensive problems. So they, it congests the pitch because they tuck in, they look for the gaps that are basically in between the goalposts, right? To run into. But why as they do that, it tucks in, which creates the space for the fullback to run, be run in beyond. I don't know if we have this, is this? Yeah, well, so, this? So, so we can play this beyond. So Kieran Tini's got it out wide. He knocks it into Granite Jacka. And one of the things I want to really mention good. just before you talk on is yep. the position of Willian and Odegaard. And actually, if I just take it back a touch, let's go to the very start of it. Willian's drop deeper than Tierney to try and be a part of the play. It goes back to the creators runners thing we were talking about. Yep. And Odegaard is very much in that 10 position where you'd expect him to be. Saka and Aubameyang are occupying the defenders. Over to you again. Perfect. How, long, how much should I play it along? Just, just play it along a bit. This, by the way, guys, this is against Olympiacos last week, just so yeah, this I'm, sure, I'm sure they're very yeah. aware, but I'm just so you're very clear. Mm. Okay, cool. So then again, Xhaka picks up the ball here mm. um, and Odegaard, they kept it tight in here. It's closed, it closes the space. Keep it going along. Let me just see if it keeps it moving. Lovely. And the ball gets played. Now, pause. So all the, all the defenders or most of the Olympiacos teams occupied here, that is allowed the space for Odegaard to cut back in which we see week in, week out, receive the ball and take a shot. I believe this is the one he, he scored. Yeah, just misses scored. it. Oh, misses with those wide. Sorry, yeah, I got confused. Yes, <laughs> yeah, so, against Spurs. So many, yes. the Spurs one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there, there are so many. And, and the thing I like about this is, and it's the same with the Leicester one, Lacazette is occupying the centre-back. So mm. let's say, this is where it gets really difficult for them because... If the centre-backs say, no, we know what they're doing, they're going to cut it back, so yes. let's step up on Odegaard, well, then our strikers are in acres of space. Yep. If the midfield are trying too hard to mark Odegaard's run and track that, then A, you're leaving more space for an even deeper cutback, mm. but more so, it means the opposition can't press on Jacka, on Willian, on Partey, when they've got the ball in those positions. Mm. So it's, it's, a really, it's a really interesting tactic. I'm going to play again through from the beginning because... It's a really lovely move. And Jacka picks out that lovely pass. Tierney's in. And it's very quick. And Odegaard picks up that pocket. He should really do better. Yeah, and for but people that are watching that don't, don't believe it's coached, because I just had an argument downstairs before going live, that if you cast your mind back to the Tottenham game, you see that Lacazette dummies the ball. And people were, mm. they were in uproar about it. When the ball, it ball got cut back and he lets it go underneath his legs. Obviously, no one was there. But it's, I know it's been coached because I'm sure he expects... Odegaard to be behind him, following up to put the goal to the I, shot in. I'm with you. I think he's absolutely meant to leave that run, let that run. And I think it's because they have been working and training the whole time on that man being there. I completely agree yeah, with you. I, yeah. think, I think Lacazette's gone, I'll leave it because I know, I know someone's going to be there. Yeah, the late runner. And it's actually one of the few times that no one was because actually we've been very good at getting players into those areas. 100%. And then eventually it does come off for us. So what can you tell us about this goal? Tottenham. Oh, God. This feels good. This is great. Yeah. I mean, this was a great game to look back on. Before we move on, I was going to quickly say, Mr. Chains, the rapper, mm. super chat. Thank you very much. 
Just to change the rap. Yeah, cool. Um, <laughs> is there a risk of, of the opposition's watching this? Probably not. Probably not. Um, but I'm sure they've all got analysts and teams who are working they, they, to yeah. know all this. And do you know what? You know, I'm, you know, I'm not... <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure we're giving I don't think they're going to be watching AF TV, but thinking about this and seeing how often Arteta is implemented in, in the games, mm -hmm. I do think, like, wow, this is it's quite readable, what you're doing. Like, I, we, we've all seen it. I've seen it every week in, week out. But I, it still works. I feel like we've been doing it for quite a while. It still works. I don't know what the other option is. I think... Um, we, we've got goals from the midfield, uh, El Neni, Odegaard as well. But that, it, all, it all still happens with this sort of play because the striker pushes the back line um, towards their goal and that opens up the space for Ode someone to create in between here, come into the midfield here like El Neni or Odegaard. So Look, I think there's it's, variations. It's one of many plays, right? Yeah. I mean, we've been showing this as something we've noticed, but also we've not scored that many goals from it. So True. I think, you know, we're not saying do this and you stop Arsenal because we've not mm. been scoring that many. But it's definitely something I've seen us doing more often. And you you pointed it out and in recent weeks, it's been very prevalent. Yeah. So we talked about it. Um, exactly that. Um, I've got so much to talk about this. Yeah, let's go through. Let's go through um, eventually, we, eventually we score. Let's play Here's Tierney, this. beats Doherty. That's the touch, touch. Bursts though, around him thing. again, puts it in. And Odegaard after a little deflection on off uh, Alderville that goes in. Mm. But again, it's a very similar thing. He gets into this area and Hoybier, and Dombele, Lucas Moura, they're all the wrong side of Odegaard. So there's something they're doing in this build-up that is making Odegaard very difficult to track. Yeah. I think part of that is that it's not always Odegaard that's getting on the end of it. It's Pepe, as we've pointed out so many times. Mm. Pepe scored a really good goal in the Europa League earlier this season. Do you remember in the group stage where Saka cut it back? Yeah. Pepe got on the end of it and put it in the far post. Yeah, it was the first touch he smacked. Yeah, you know, they, this is a very coached thing. Um, and hopefully we'll see more of it today. I do think having a left footer like Tierney at left back is a is a big part of it. I'm not sure you pull that off as much if you've got Cedric playing there, although he's proving to be a decent uh, you know, cover at left back. Mm. But yeah, it was very you know and, and, and sort of well spotted because it's you know just I'm just gonna keep, I could keep watching this goal over lovely. and over. Yeah, um, I so wish we could show the real footage, but. Comments are very yeah. interesting today. A lot of people bigging up you, but yes, guys, um, which is fine. But this is what we've noticed, and James is probably better at articulating it more than I don't know. But I don't know. I think it's very clear of what, what they're doing, and um, I think we're going to see a lot more of it. It's very much um, something you you wanted to chat about. You, you definitely, wanted, you, you wanted to. I think because you, you used to be a striker, and you understand a the unselfish movements of Lacazette, Saka, or Bamming, whoever it is in mm. those in those moments but also the ability to know that, I know everyone's pouring forwards, but I'm just gonna hang back. Mm. I'm just gonna let everything happen and then the space will come to me naturally. Mm. Don't they say the best players in the world always look like they've got owls on the ball, 100%. you know? And I think someone like Odegaard is proving that he's able to just pick up pockets and find space yeah. and, and, and it's adding a different dimension to us. So Yeah, him him, yeah. Is, him and Saka are ones you look at and you think, boy, you're just so you're in cruise control all the time. And yeah. Partey actually, because it seems like he's always in second gear, even though recently he hasn't had the, the best of games. But yeah. yeah. And just before we Well sorry, actually I wanted to add something to this because I know you wanted to point it out and I agree with everything you said, and that made me want to chat about this. So I looked at Kieran Tierney mm -hmm. against Spurs. Here's his heat map. I'm not showing the whole thing because there's not really much in, uh, in and around our own penalty area. But mm. going forward, like, look how far he was. Well, basically, look at the areas he was occupying in the, oh, yeah, in, in the game. I yeah. mean, right. Like, look more how green... attacking than, 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 def than defending. Absolutely. Which he was is... in more attacking areas yeah. than defensive areas. Now, part of that is to do with our domination, how much we had the ball. Mm -hmm. um, another part of that is clearly a tactical thing. It's the, the idea is we want to get Tierney forward in, into areas where he's got such a great final ball. He obviously got the one assist for Odegaard, but also there are 25 final third touches, mm. which I thought was worth mentioning. And it was, a, look, it was a toss up between showing you his heat map or his touch map. His touch map was just as impressive. The amount of touches he had in the final third or mm -hmm. the final third, the, the, the opposition half, whatever it is, as <laughs> compared to our own half, where earlier in the season he was playing as like, the third centre back slash left back, mm -hmm. and he was getting the ball in more almost build up areas. This is what I want to see from Kieran Tierney, and it's um, it's great. I'm really happy we are. And I just thought it was interesting to look at the the positions he was occupying against Spurs, not just because 
it shows what we all do tactically, but also it was brave. Because Gareth Bale was their right winger. Like, yeah. I know he did nothing, but he could very easily have done something out of nothing. Mm. You know, he could very easily one ball over the top and suddenly Gareth Bale's away. Mm. So it just shows also how well Jacker, Partey, Gabriel and Louise marshalled those central areas of the pitch mm -hmm. to stop your Bale, your Kane, your Song getting on the ball. Yeah, and do you know what else is fascinating with this as well? Remember, in this game, the, the attacking thirds was 41% 40, down the left, 41% down the right. So mm. it's probably the same on the other side as well. Like I, I had a brief look at Cedric's and it's not yeah. too different. Yeah, but There you go. Absolutely. So that is, it's, 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 it's a good thing going forward. I also want to quickly touch on, just before we move off the, the cutbacks, because obviously Arteta was, was under Pep when he, was, when he was at Man City and I was just thinking like, what do Man City do different in that style of play, they, it is kind of similar, but what I've realised is when City break and they break at pace, right, they normally play the, they fizz the ball across the back line for Sterling, say, to come on to on the end of it. Arteta's not doing that. He's looking more for the cutback. So yeah. I found that very interesting. That's, but that's very true. And actually, if I just try and illustrate it for a second, let's open up the... Um, Let's do the... Yeah, got no let's, do the, let's do the Olympiacos one, actually. While Sorry. you Before you play it, yeah, say well. Ryan Y... Ryan's YT, Odegaard in the 10, so natural, left foot on, onto KT Cross, and it's true. This, he finds them pockets and he, he converts very well. Um, he, he, you, you've made a very good point. So, about City and the way they used to do it, and I'll do it in a Man City Blue. Often, it was almost like Kieran Tierney, or sorry, let's, you know, it was Leroy Sane, for example, yeah, would, be, would make the move there. Yep. And Raheem Sterling would make the move to the back yep. post. And they were, their aim was to get in behind mm -hmm. the opposition defence. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, the cutback was a very straightforward Forward. one. Yeah, fizzed across and yeah. in front of the... Yeah, the back line couldn't do it because it's going in front. Really. Yeah. But ours is completely different to that. Ours is much more, and I'll do ours in red, is much more... Get to the byline. Run here. And then you've got your almost your forwards. I know there's a lot of arrows, guys. Yes. I'm very sorry. <laughs> you've almost got your forwards occupying this space here but then the cutback which i'll show in yellow is, is tr you're trying to hold that position Lovely. uh we weren't going to do this so yeah, that's, sorry that is that's a lot why of it looks a bit that's why it looks a, a bit mad but hopefully you can see what we are yeah. trying to show you here do you think that's down to the players at arsenal that he cuts it back and yeah. Reason, yeah okay thank you because the reason why i say that because when we're watching, we're always like quicker. And I know Arteta, um, thanks to Chris Wheatley saying, he, he, when he's in the ground, he hears Arteta saying, get it forward quicker, quicker. But we, I don't know what it is. We don't do that. We don't have that, that blistering pace that City have to get in front of the back line and play it across. So the, the cutback works better for us. Look how many times Partey's been finding Saka with the ball straight over the top. So I almost think if he had two Sackers, he would try and do that yes. more. Yeah, yeah. Or if he had two creative number 10s who could play in midfield together, mm. he would probably do that more. But he's trying to work with what he's got. He's trying to almost adapt it slightly. Mm. I'm, I'm going to be really wild when I say this here. A lot of people say, and I agree with this, let's not just assume that Arteta is a Pep Guardiola you know, disciple just because he used to work for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I'm getting to the point where I'm seeing a lot of similarities in some of the attacking moves he wants to pull off that I think if he had it all his own way, he'd play the exact same kind of football. Mm. I really do. I really think he'd try and replicate it and do the exact same thing. I think he, he wanted to work under Pep because he could learn, but also he believes that that is the it's way to play football. Philosophy, yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, you better not lose to Olympiacos tonight because he, that is not, that's not, uh, that's not very pep at all. But yes. before we yeah. move on to the star man, I'm mm. going to talk about um, a call up. We're just mm. going to go through some comments quickly. Um, West Ham online fan says, hi, lads. How are you? We'll see you Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? OK. Um, but we are good. We are good. Um, there was someone saying about, here we go, bro. Bro Pro 98 says, man like James, the Jamie Carragher of AFTV. Um, Thank you. Yeah. We, and then Joshua Aniston says, they're actually doing analysis now. Do you know what? This isn't going to be a regular thing. We're not going to, I mean, if we see something, we feel like it should be... Sp I think should we be, do analysis most weeks. We do so most weeks, don't we? Yeah. Well, you, defi yeah, you definitely yeah, do, we do break down things. Yeah. But I'm saying like, this last week, I think was in depth. It was something that wasn't looking back at a game and what we noticed, it's more like, this a what, is, bigger picture. Kind yeah, of. this is the, the movement uh, forward. We'll, we'll never do analysis for the sake of doing analysis. Correct. Like, otherwise, you're forcing things too much. Um, but you know, if we are, if we're up here and we just chit chat about some stuff, the next actually the, the next part of the show is very 
chit chatty, really. Yeah. Um, the rest but, of the show will be. Yeah, but you know, if we if we spot something and we think we might be onto something, we're not claiming to be experts, but we will try and put it out there. So yeah. Oh, West Ham online says thanks to James for coming on the podcast. Yeah. So I was the. Yeah. Cool. I was. I thought it was, but I wasn't. I know they were called West Ham Online. I'm big up West Ham Online podcast coming out tomorrow. Yeah. Um, which is fun. We chatted ahead of the game and everything. But um, yeah, I wasn't sure if there was maybe someone else who adopted that name. But mm. yeah, the real the me. real captain says James is a football genius. Hundred percent. Oh wow. Hundred percent. Wow. Thank you. Um, I, I wouldn't go that far. But and last one, little super chat, um, Chris. Let's just make sure. Chris Planick says. Will four three three system with Odegaard and Emil Smith Rowe and Partey ever ever happen? I'd love to see. I'd that. love to see that. But I think I think it will I, at some point. I think that's because in the press conference they alluded to that. They said he was playing Odegaard and Smith Rowe together. Is that something you're looking for in the future? And he was like, "Well, his answer was I'm just trying to build the squad and have more options." So, and I think they work. Do you oh, know? You I would ball? love it if. Um, I know we're going to build 11 soon, so just ignore this. But Yeah, after would, Danger Man, guys, make sure you get it I in. would love it if we saw something like this one day. I would actually love to see that. Or a Bamming up front, whatever you want. But, yeah, yeah. but my point is, that midfield three, it, it, a Man City-esque midfield three, yeah, I'd love to see that. That'd be, that'd be with, amazing. With a front three. Maybe one day he'll work towards that. The Odegaard and Smith right have the work rate for it. Let's yeah. be honest, they don't, they're not looking um, lightweight whatsoever. So... Yeah, why not? I would love that. Right, right. Um, before we move on, um, people saying big up Zeke's 12, big up Cecil and James, keep up the good work. Thank you everyone for supporting. Marcus Comfort, Calvin and Bruno to start tonight for Cecil. This guy does not let the, go, the Calvin Harris and the Bruno Mons go. <laughs> See and don't, don't ever let it go. Okay? Every week. Don't ever uh, let him forget it. Last one before we move on. Imran, thank you for the snap, Snapchat? Snapchat, same Snapchat. Snapchat, AFTV Media. Make sure you check it out, all the behind the scenes access. Make sure you look it up. And TikTok as well. If you want to do your own fan cam, after the games, go onto the TikTok and you can do that. Yeah, that's um, quite cool actually, I do like that. Nice yeah, little feature yeah. um, in, with here at AFTV. Okay, so Imran says, I don't trust Arsenal. Ooh. In the first leg, we made two major mistakes. One w- which resulted in a goal, and I believe we need two goals to get through. Get but in, get, I, well, if sorry. there's anyone, if there's any team in the world that knows how to cop this up, it's Arsenal. It's Arsenal. Tonight. Or Spurs, they Spurs up things up a lot of the time. They really mess things up. Th- this, how, this would be extraordinary. F- f- how can yeah. you have a player score a magnificent goal mm. like Lamella yeah. and then be sent off in the same game and lose? Yeah, that was funny. I That's hilarious. Remember. But anyway, and he, sorry, just to finish off his super chat, he said, believe we need two goals to get through. Getting the first goal will be huge. Yeah. Definitely. We need to be focused all, focused all game, 100%. Mm. Um, right, so, Starboy. He really is. Woo! Congratulations to Pakaya Saka. Gayo! On his call up. On his call up to the England squad. And by the way, this is. Look, he, he absolutely deserved his place. I don't think anyone should be surprised, but this is yeah. even more impressive because Jesse Lingard's found form recently. Yeah. There's oh. a lot of players that. I was surprised. You know, obviously, there's Chilwell playing a left back. Luke Shaw's had a really good season. So mm. I'm just saying, if Southgate really was looking for reasons to drop Saka from the squad, he's kind of had them in the last few months, mm. but he's kept them, and I love that. Um, also, big up Cedric, who's back in the Portugal squad yes, and absolutely yes. deserved. And I just would like to remind everyone that we've been saying since October that Cedric should be playing in the team. Cedric! So join so the hype. We're not, you know, join it's the true, club. It, yeah. It's yeah, he's a, welcome. It's, he's right. well deserved. It's well deserved from, both, from both players, um, especially with Kyo. Do you think mm. he'll start? To, do you think he'll have any involvement tonight? I would like him not to. And if we, if, if the absolute you know, mental thing happens and we get knocked out tonight, I won't be sitting there going, oh, if we'd play Bukai Saka. No, no, no. The team, whoever goes out there is going to be good enough to win this game and see mm-hmm. us through. Whoever goes out there is good enough to lose 2-0 and nothing more, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, right? Well, we can't that's, say we that's where we are. We can't say that. You're good enough to only <laughs> lose 2-0. Yeah, we've got All to... right? I don't know if I'm serious. It's fair, yeah, no, I'm serious, fair. right? Without, so, without him, we've got, so yeah, we've got do to look not, at options. <laughs> okay. Don't mess this up. Right? So whatever happens, and I know if Arteta rotates and we get knocked out, people go, oh, Arteta this, Arteta that. Big, you know, big questions would be on the concentration of the team, not so much the players. Whoever goes out there should be good enough. Um, so I don't want to see Bukayo Saka play tonight. Mm. I think he needs a rest. I don't think he's looked really at it the last couple of games by the standards he set. Um, but he's been called up and what's interesting is when he got his kind of uh, minutes for England is very much as a left back or playing on the left side mm. of a, so basically it's a wing back. 
and he's really developed his game recently. So I'd be interested to see if Southgate tries to use him in the same way. Look, I think he could be very effective from there, but out on the right, he's been class. Yeah, 14 pe- appearances since um, Boxing Day, the yep. 3-1 win against Chelsea. Five goals, five assists. Um, Arsenal have won nine of those games. They've drawn three and they've lost two. That's not it's bad. Not, that's great stats. You've got to think that the Man City game he played on the left, he didn't play on the right. So I'm talking specifically as, as, a, right Saka, winger. as a right winger. Yeah. yeah, They're good stats. And P. Smithy says, he says, rest him. Mm. I don't know. If, uh, oh, Chase Giles says, defo rest. People are saying, yeah, a lot of people are saying rest him today. I mean, he wasn't in my starting eleven. Mm. I believe he will be rested. But does that breed space for Martinelli? Because I think fan, it, I'd like Martinelli right. to start. We'll, 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 get into we'll that. actually go into all that. But guys, by the way, feel free to check. I, never, I rarely do this, but I've got five goals, five assists there. Do feel free to check them because I had a feeling it was more, but maybe, yeah, I don't know. And then the Premier... Just in the league? No, it's all comps apparently. I'm sure you got six. Do you have a little look? Yeah, do let us know. I'm sure um, you have I think it's six and seven for the season. Yeah. Um, but this is as a right winger. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, that, so, well yeah, okay, fair. Mm. But yeah, right. feel free to have a look, guys. But now is it? Is it? Is it time, time, baby boy. Man. I'm getting good. So, how long do we keep this for? I mean, I'm going to try and keep it every week. I really enjoy it. It's my time. Definitely forever. Forever. See, even the backroom staff. You know, Robbie hates it. Robbie hates it. You know, Robbie. Robbie said it shit. He did say it shit, but whoever made it, thank you. Robbie so doesn't call the shots around here. It's not. <laughs> I mean, he. I mean, he kind of does. He does, but he, he won't. You know this. who he worked for, right? Yeah, the Don. I know. I know, but AFTV. Yeah. He's actually got a channel called Don Robbie. You have seen with the cigar and stuff. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he's Are you really gonna take Danger Man to him? No, he doesn't like it. It's really sad. He, I tried to bring it on our show, but you he, he heard him. He shut it down real quick. But it's okay. We're going to keep it in this one because he's not here. So, Danger Man. Um, <laughs> someone says, Tor, Tor Andrew Art says, Robbie is jealous. He is. I bet Robbie wants his own theme music. I don't think he does. I bet he does. I, I know I he does. I don't think anyone else wants their own theme music. I can't stop spinning. Right, quickly. We're going to quickly just run through Yusef El Arabi. Um, oh, I've spoken about him so much. Yeah, moving on. Yeah, um, <laughs> uh, just yeah. He listen. He scored. He scored. Good finish, his, to be fair. Yeah, he scored against, against us, us last week. week. Yeah, yeah, it was a good finish. Good um, finish. He scored in his most recent game as well in, in the Super, the Greek Super League. So he, he's last week it was eighteen goals in twenty two appearances. It's now twenty three uh, appearances and nineteen goals. So yeah, he is someone. I think he's the only really one to watch out for. Even in the press conference, Arteta was asked about, "Do you fear for Youssef El Arabi?" And he was just like, "Arteta was very chilled. He was like, yeah, he's a good player.' Blah blah. But Imagine if you just went, nah, nah. <laughs> trash. <laughs> Scared of him? Can you imagine nah. if you said that? That would have spiced um, up. Look, I tell you what, that's a pretty bloody good goal scoring record. And if anyone's going to cause us problems and, I don't know, pull something out, it's this, it's this guy. In fairness, it was a very good finish against us. He got, that's a proper striker. Gets one chance, he scores it, right? Like that, you know, he, he did his job last week. Mm. Um, this is, I'm a little bit, uh, this is where I'm a little bit worried, right? If complacency gets the better of us and they have a good start, because there's no crowd, there's no nothing like that, I just feel like, you know Olympiacos, not their last trip, but the trip before that in 2016, I think it was, mm. no, 2015, they did score three goals at the Emirates. They beat us 3-2. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So they, they've, they've, in recent history, they've scored three at the Emirates. Yeah, they've got it. Oh, don't say that. I know. Don't start changing the time. I'm very comfortable and calm today. No, like. but I just think everyone needs to just... Slow down. Yeah. That's what it's what probably keep saying. Including slow down, slow myself. Down. Yeah, no, I'm very relaxed today. I feel, I just want to enjoy it. I don't want to be stressed today. I, I think this whole... When's the game I wasn't stressed watching Arsenal? There's actually... Fulham? First game of the season? <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. Maybe West Brom. No matter what happens, yeah. there's another 37 games to go. <laughs> <laughs> Most we can be is three points behind top. So, but that's the only time I watch them. We're like, oh, do you know what? I can. I'm, I'm quite confident. We were very good that day. We were. I, but, you um, know, you know, it's really funny when people. A lot of Arsenal have been talking, saying, "Look, the job's pretty much done, right, in this tie." And I'm just going to say, like, it pretty much is. And if we don't go through. Like, there's no shame in what we said. Like, you know when you're talking about Arsenal and there's like, or, or your team or whatever, yeah. and there's kind of, you can be nervous, then you might be a bit confident. They might be confident, but like overly. So when it goes against you, you look a bit stupid. But mm. this really, like, no matter what happens, even if I spent the whole time going, I think Olympiacos is going to do it. I think they're going to turn it around. 
it's going to hurt as much as if I said it's pretty much done. It, it, should, yeah. it should be done. It same, should be done. And pain. Arsenal need to play the real maturity tonight because we saw in the last tie, they did nothing, got one chance and scored. Yes. So they don't need Mali to put them away. And they didn't last year either. So Definitely. Yeah. We've got a super chat from Josh William. Thank you so much. I love mm. guys, you know me, I'm all of, you know, I love love and all this, the positivity. He says, big up James, love the stats analyst, big up Cecil too. Thank big you. up, big up, big up. Um so am, I, am I right in thinking you've got another danger? I've got man. one more danger, man. Oh actually that means no, more no, no, no. music. We don't, we don't need more it. More music. We don't. One more time. Cause it is two. No no no! Danger man! Okay, that's really loud. Um, so the, to the next one, please. I'm gonna hide that thing next week. <laughs> danger man, cool. Not not Kieran Tierney. He is a danger man though, definitely. Someone to worry about. But um, L I don't know how to say Laza. Laza ran Jelovic. Now I spoke about him in the warm up before before today, and he's just someone that came on. He came on. He started as well in the last game that Olympiacos played um, in the league. But he is absolutely rapid. I, his stats weren't amazing, so I didn't think I thought the need to bring him up. He's got two assists um, in, I think, 18 games. It's not been, it's not a massive stat, so I was like, cool. But he caused us a threat when he came on. He's, he's super speedy, so make sure you guys watch out for him. I've got his shirt number there, 97. Very, very random shirt number. But just so you guys can be aware of I love the European shirt numbers. They're just crazy. They're just all over the place. I 88, love, I like, 97. Actually, send them in the comments, your favourite players and their shirt numbers from like across Europe. Like, I think it was Ronaldinho, 87. Mm. Trent Alexander-Arnold, 66, although I know he plays in the Premier League. Um, but there are, there are some... Balotelli was 45. I quite like... Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I didn't do a call for? Guys, send in your 11s now, because the build the 11s. After on Danger Man, it's when you send your 11s. It's time to get them in right now. Um, people saying James is fed up and James is low-key annoyed as <laughs> Yeah, how do <laughs> I turn this thing? Nico, it's right, I'm not going to use it for the rest of the show. Oh, maybe end it with it. No, no, um, no. there's no way of ending on it. <laughs> I'll turn it off. Uh, right, so let's get into... There you go, it's off. Lovely. No more danger. No man. more danger, man. I'll play Never. it for my phone, just this phone speaker. No, I won't do that. Right, time to build the 11s. Guys, get them in. We'll start bringing them up. Um, I'll be intrigued to see everyone's 11s today. Yeah, I will be too. I think... Um, it will be whether people are feeling like this is a really good opportunity to rotate. Actually, how long have we got before? Oh, 10 minutes. Yeah. I think, um, how'd I put it? If this isn't the opportunity to rotate in what's going to be a really busy end of the season, when will we ever have the chance? Mm. I really mean that. And I think Arteta's got to think about that. How can he rotate without weakening the team too much, still give us a really good 11 out there that can go and get the job done, and ultimately, allow players who need rest to get their rest, mm. right? Cedric doesn't need rest. He's had a good, basically, 10 days off. He played the North London Derby. Play him today again. Keeps but, but Tierney... Yes, you do. <laughs> but Tierney doesn't need a rest. Yeah. Tierney does. He, he's had injuries throughout his career, really. So any chance to give him some time off, this is it. Like, I, I get it. If he's starting because you just want to get the job done and get it sealed. Robbie made a good point. You can make five subs, so you can always go back on it. And I get that. But I would be looking to play a pretty rotated 11, actually. Yeah. I and agree. it should be good enough to get the job done. Yeah, we're, 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 I mean, if you mess up here, like you said, it's going, to be, it's going to be a big problem. We've got a few super chats before we go through mm. all of this stuff. So Mo, Mersin Abdi says, you guys are amazing. James should be on Sky Sports. Don't worry, it will, it's coming. Actually, no, no, I mean, no, we're saying here. No, we're here. This is where, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. No. Very kind, though. Thank Christian you. G's given us his 11. I'll read that in a second. Um, Stan Grin, Grinovisky says, Big up, you man. Should be a comfy 2 0 win, hope, hopefully. Let's hope. Yeah. My let's prediction see. was 2 1. Mm, Robbie went with 2 0. Mm. Okay, right, let's go in quickly before you do the app breakdown. Yeah. Snapchat, make sure you get to come check out Snapchat behind the scenes stuff. TikTok, I said it earlier, just they got we got a new fan cam thing where you can just duet the videos and give you a fan cam of each game. I am slowly turning. It's just getting so You're really struggling there, aren't you? I don't know what's going on. I don't know who gave me this chair. I don't know why it's doing this. I am literally just sitting still and I've now facing the back. James, do your thing. Check out AFTV VIP. Um Exclusive content, I've gone over it. I'm not going over it too much, but exclusive content, all the content that goes up on YouTube, you get it. Are you all right? Do you want to just... Um, all, all, the, all the content that goes on YouTube, you get it ad-free, as Cecil has told us in the past, he really benefits from. Um, and all these... Yeah, 
all this stuff, all this, you know, build your 11s, do the polls, go to the match centre, do your AFTV picks, all that. And there's a brand new show, Access All Areas, which we've got it there on the left. Yeah, you go. it's not going to play because I'm not logged in. It, we're not. Oh, well, because I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm not. I'm not logged in on this on this tablet. I'm on my phone. Um, but guys, go check it out. Check it's just it out. That is because cool. Because you can basically see what happens behind the scenes, and it's really great fun. Uh, we had Jack Farrell in the building for the North London derby, uh, so you get to see all the behind the scenes how he reacted. He predicted two one. You know, he said to me, "Yep, we're going to win two one for the game," which I thought was, which I thought was, yeah. Well, well it's a good prediction. It's a good prediction. Yeah. yeah. Right. Let's quickly right. build the eleven. So we've got Christian G with. I'll let you just. Yep, go on. Cool. Leno in goal, Bellerin, Louise, Mari, Tierney. Bellerin. Where is Louise? Oh, this is my back, Louise. back five. Mari, Tierney, yep. Partey, Ceballos in the two. Where? Oh, Ceballos, yeah. Pepe, Odegaard, Martinelli, Aubameyang up top with love you guys at the end. Wow. You got? Thank you very much. Aubameyang up top? Yeah. Very strong team. Very strong team. Does the job. Does the job for me. Happy with that team. I'd be, I'd be very happy with that team. Let's do Ryan. Uh, let's do a Mazza. Mm -hmm. Let's do a Mazza. Mazza, his name is. He's got Ryan in goal. Mm -hmm. Bellerin, Louise, Mari, Tierney. Yep. El Nenny, Partey. That was my midfield too as well. Yep. Same. Pepe, Smith Rowe, Martinelli, Abamiang. Pepe, Smith, Smith Rowe, Martinelli, yep. Abamiang. There you go. Nice. We're just smashing through these, so I want to get quite a few in, but. Still, another, still a really strong squad. There's no one out there that, that shocks me. Um, oh, I'd like to see that too. Matt yeah. Ryan, would be, I mean, he did well against Villa, to be fair. Um, I want to see some more of Matt Ryan. I don't know when we'll see him, but I know... If we're like 4-0 up at half-time, bring on Matt Ryan. <laughs> so I'm not even joking. Goalie, give, give, him, give him 45 minutes yeah. or something. But, um, yeah. Okay, last one. Mm. Let's do Eduardo underneath Mazza there. He's got Leno, Bellerin, Gabriel, Louise, Tierney. Leno, Bellerin... Gabriel, Gabriel Louise, Louise okay. Tierney. Yeah. Ceballos, Xhaka. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. El Nene. Oh. El Nene, Smith Rowe, Pepe, and Abamiang. He wants 12 players. He wants 12. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have to. Um, That's Ed fine. Eduardo. Let's drop El Nene. And mm. who's left? Okay, let's drop El Nene. We've got Smith Rowe, Pepe, and Abamiang. Oh, no. Yeah, Smith Rowe, Abam Pepe, and Abamiang. So. I thought you said Martinelli as well. Did you? No, I didn't say Martinelli. Oh, okay. So where does El Nenny play then? It's a mid so it's a 4 3 3. Ooh, very so, defensive. Um, El Nenny there. And then what was the front three? The front three consists of Smith Rowe, Pepe, yeah. and Abamiang. Okay, there you go. Would you go with that? No. <laughs> no, no. Um, <laughs> I. A, a little too, a little too defensive for me, but yeah. it's, uh, but it would get the job done, and I like I like the back four and Gabriel. I mean, maybe he doesn't deserve to be dropped. To be fair, so yeah, this chair is doing my head in. Yeah, let's just Guys, wrap this up because you've been. Thank you've you been... so much for tuning in to the build up. We have it's been a pleasure. Um, obviously, we've got to win today. Get the job done. Thank you for watching. Up next will be up next will be the starting eleven coming your way into the watch long and then the fan cams. Thank you for watching with myself, Cecil G and James B. We'll see you again very soon. Every week on AFTV Picks, we give away 1,000 pounds. And all you gotta do is enter our free to play competition and go head to head with me, win it and uh, this could be yours. Get involved right now, click the link in the description and you can play and it's absolutely free. All you have to do is be over 18 and uh, have some decent football knowledge. So what are you waiting for? Get involved now and you can win yourself £1,000.